Tony Gillard and Tony Abbott faced their toughest test of the campaign so far last night. The leaders were hit with questions from 200 swinging voters in the People's Forum broadcast live on Sky News. Exit polling following the event showed the opposition leader snared a narrow victory with 35.5% of the vote compared to the PM's 30% with the rest undecided. The town hall style meeting brought questions on the big campaign issues along with some surprises. It was the battle for the West, Sydney's West and its crucial marginal seats. The People's Forum was in the heart of Western Sydney at the Rudy Hill RSL Club. While that sits in the safe Labor seat of Chifley, it's surrounded by three marginal seats. Both leaders delivered an opening pitch. Keep your hand up if you could keep paying your mortgage or keep paying your rent if you didn't have a job. Right. A couple of people could, obviously they've got other sources of income, but overwhelmingly people couldn't pay their mortgage or their rent if they didn't have a job. What I'd like to do, David, is go down to be on the level with people. Sure. Um, Why not? Why not? <laughs> then the playbook went out the window. Moderator Sky News' David Spears was the only journalist involved, firing the questions were 200 undecided voters, as identified by the Galaxy polling company. The night's first question was familiar ground. Julia Gillard asked about the overthrow of Kevin Rudd. Are they going to be rewarded for what um, they did? There's uh, no one who organised this. There's no one who's going to be rewarded for it. I, 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 made, I made my decision. Asylum seekers are not acting contrary to the law or immorally when they ask for asylum in Australia. The Australian government should be in charge, not the people smugglers, and I think that the program should be run in Australia's national interests, not in the interests of people in other countries. So that's my position. <laughs> Both leaders found themselves questioned strongly on why they should be trusted. A lot of the policies that are put in place by governments affect those people with a wife, with the kids and with a house. But I think there's a lot of Australians and you want my vote, why should I vote for you? If I say that I will do something, uh, I will do it. Uh, I've got a record in government uh, as a minister in the former government, a very senior minister in the former government. What guarantees can you give me that any promises that you make, there are not going to be... Backflips later. <coughs> Thank you for that question. Sorry, a little bit of a cough. What I say in this campaign is what I will do. Uh, and we've made uh, promises in this campaign uh, about health care. Billed as a break from the tightly controlled media events, the People's Forum was guaranteed to provide the unexpected and there was high hopes it would indeed reveal the real Julia and the real Tony. I'm a taxpayer. I'm a law-abiding citizen. And I want to be able to say to that woman that I love, will you marry me, not will you civil union me? Uh, the Marriage Act will stay the way it is now, so that marriage uh, is defined as between a man and a woman. And I know saying that's not going to um, uh, please you because you'd like to see uh, something different happen. What are your views on the absence of an R18 rating for video games? What, what sort of stuff is available? <laughs> well, don't show me photographs. Forums like this are more commonly seen overseas. Tony Abbott and Julia Gillard will be hoping the risk pays off come August 21.